William went a riding, riding, riding. Lord William went a riding among the trees so green. And on his way he spied a lass, spider, spider. And on his way he spied a lass, foot loose and fancy free. How goes it there, my fine young thing? He asked her, asked her. Tis a lovely day for a walk in the woods amongst the trees so green. But prithee tell what brings you here, brings you, brings you. Yea, prithee tell what brings you here within my forest green. Good day, my lord, she answered back, smiling at him. I'm searching for my one true love, I don't know where he's been. Perchance he wandered into here, into, into. He can't be far, he's somewhere near within this forest green. Her long blonde hair blew in the breeze, flowing, flowing. It glistened. Refracted by the leaves, her eyes were gray as granite, sharp and steely. Her countenance was radiant, reflected in the stream. How curious, Lord Will replied, contemplative. Perhaps he's gone round yon hill, we'll find him yet anon. So clamber up upon my horse, riding, riding. We'll canter off, and in due course, your one true love shall find. She was lithe and agile on his horse, riding. She put her arms around his waist, tightly holding on. And all that day they looked for him, searching, searching. All the day they looked for him, but it seems he had gone. Oh, whatever shall we do, she asked as they tarried. We cannot stay out here all night, the day is getting on. Alas, alack, my one true love, he is missing. I don't know where to find him, although we've looked since dawn. Just then they came around the bend, riding, riding. And as they came around the bend, they saw him lying there. Yea, there upon the fen he lay, dying, dying. There upon the fen he lay, he'd been gored by a boar. This is a dreadful thing, she said to Lord William. This is a horrid, a dreadful thing. My one true love is dead. Whatever will become of me, I don't know what to do. For I am but a simple soul. The life I know is through. Her tears, they moved Lord William's heart. Icy, icy, ice water flowed within his veins. For he had left before. But that was many years ago, and time was passing. His heart had been hurt, and he was inert, but time was moving on. The wind blew forth upon the lee, blowing, blowing. It whispered in Lord William's ear, now it's time to go. Still, it would be hard to deny the spark between them, a spark that someday might turn into love again. So hear this tale, all ye fair maids, watching, waiting. Yea, hear my tale and ponder it well, a moral it conceals. If your plans to go awry, as they can do in the blink of an eye, if your plans to go awry, tis best to improvise.